Hey, what is up? Today, the Sennheiser Sport True Wireless. Since the start of time, Sennheiser has never been a big player in producing sports ready through wireless earbuds. If anything, it's them adding some form of water resistance to their earbuds and calling it ready for the gym. But this time, everything has changed. Sennheiser is now ready to take on their competitors with a new offering, this Sports True Wireless. Can it outshine the competition? Well, it has a few unique features under its sleeve, so let's dive straight in. From far, you will definitely be hard pressed to tell a difference between the Sports True Wireless and the CX Plus SE, since both models use almost identical designs. And that means to say that the Sports True Wireless earbud shape has been tried and true to promise a secure fit. Do note that the overall earbud shape is quite large, so it's indeed difficult to forget that there are earbuds in your ears. The earbuds houses additional ear wings to keep it stable for sports, but for my use case, I had to swap out the originally fitted earbuds to use none at all, as the wings do hook on into my ears pretty deep, causing wearing fatigue after an hour or so. Personally, having no ear wings on for my gym use case proved to be okay, as the earbuds do stay in for light exercises. If I were to take on more intense sports like running, I'll pick up the small size ear wings to keep it stable, by the expense of having wearing fatigue after an hour or two. Just like before, Sennheiser went with touch pads that feel responsive, even when you tap them with sweaty fingers from workouts. Now for controls, a single press on the left earbud will play and pause your music, and a trill press will bring up Google Assistant, Alexa, or Siri. A dial press on the right will skip forward, and holding it down will increase the volume. Meanwhile, a down press on the left will speed backward, and holding it down will decrease the volume. For course, there's yet another set of controls that does the same command on either earbud. A single press will pick up the call, and a down press will reject the call. When you're in the call, a single press will mute or unmute the microphones. Now it's worth mentioning that although these are original out-of-the-box settings, you can customize the touch controls to any command you would like, to either earbud, and the app will sync the new settings immediately. If you need to pair another device, you can hold down both earbuds for 3 seconds to enable Bluetooth pairing. With a larger earbud shape comes a bulkier charging case, as it needs to house the ear wings contours. I found that it's rather uncomfortable to carry it in regular pants pockets, and not to mention impossible to fit into tight jeans pockets, due to it bulging out too much. Though it's far from the huge cases of the Powerbeats Pro or the Beats Fit Pro, I still prefer to keep it in the gym bag if I carry one. Like all true wireless earbuds, the earbuds do lock in fairly easy and will not fall out when the case is flipped, since there are magnets inside to keep them secure. Although the case of the sports true wireless have a matte finish, I found that in day-to-day -day use, the case do get a large amount of scuffs and scratches, just from my first use, casually leaving it in my bag with a power bank. Therefore, I would caution against leaving the earbuds case together with keys or coins if you are concerned over how the earbuds may look with scuffs. In terms of durability, I would say that the earbuds case feels hollow and may not survive well with drops. One additional feature added to the case is the lanyard slot for you to hang the included long lanyard anywhere from gym equipment to the side of your bag. There's a USB-C port at the back of the case with a rubber cap to cover up the port to prevent water ingress. Indeed, a well thought feature for a sports earbud. In the front, you'll see a small LED indicator that notifies you of the case charge when it's closed. It takes about 1.5 hours to charge both the case and the earbuds from a dead battery. However, if you're in a rush, there's always quick charge that allows for 1 hour playback with a 10 minute charge. Both earbuds bear the Gold Sennheiser logo and has subtle LED indicators on the inside that only light up when necessary, such as in situations of pairing depth. In normal usage of music playback or calls, they never light up to attract unwanted attention. Since the Sport True Wireless is a sport earbud, it boasts an IP54 dust and water resistant rating for those intense workout or rainy days, giving users the ultimate peace of mind. The earbuds itself also do a great job at resisting fingerprint smudges with a matte finish. Exciting, bass focused and energetic is how I describe the sound of the Sport True Wireless. So let's start off with the bass response. In short, it is deep, punchy and tight, 
You never manage to distort at loud volumes and never bleeds into the mids when it's a low volume level. It hits as deep as the momentum through other three, thanks to the similar 7mm true response transducers. The high sound decently bright and I feel plenty of details, similar to that of the Sony Lingbus S. The mids do sound extremely crisp, especially with the help of the equalizer tuning that's found in the smart control app that really helps to configure the sound to your ears. The sound stage isn't quite as wide as the Momentum True Wireless 3, but definitely on par with the similarly priced Nothing Year 1 or the Jabra Elite 4 Active. The instrument separation is excellent with distinct left and right channels being heard clearly. In the box, there are extra sizes of silicone ear tips and wings to ensure a tight seal and secure fit. Notably, this is one of the most unique features I've seen in years of R&D of True Wireless earbuds. There are two different ear adapters, with the first being a standard closed ear adapter with a black cross inside. When used with this particular set of ear adapters, focus mode minimizes surrounding noise for passive noise isolation and allows for maximum seal for full music immersion in safe and controlled environments, like the gym or running on a treadmill. Next, there's the open ear adapters with blue markings inside that is used with a wear mode, such as in cases of running in outdoor environments that you need to be more aware of your surroundings, such as traffic noises, as well as helping to reduce body bone noises, such as breathing, footsteps, or clothes rattling. In my experience, I found that the open ear adapters proved to be useful for my outdoor running use case, though I do see it becoming less relevant and somewhat over-engineered in two contexts. First, I didn't find anything different from fitting the focus ear adapters when you pump out the volume above 70%, since I couldn't hear much of my surrounding noises. Secondly, many competitors have delved into using transparency mode in their app softwares to open the internal mics and take in surrounding noise, with advanced models filtering out noises and taking in voices selectively. Therefore, I felt that Sennheiser could have put more effort into improving their transparency mode instead, onto the levels of the Sony Lingbus S or even the Apple AirPods Pro 2nd Gen, to be more selective in the sounds that the mic can pick up, instead of physically developing new ear adapters. So the question on everyone's mind is this, why would I need to switch between two modes of focus and aware when technically changing the earbud does the job? Well, you'll be in for a surprise. For starters, the aware mode with the open ear adapters will pump the overall loudness in volume, mimicking the experience of having a portable speaker playing music as you run. Since it's more of an open sound, the bass does get a little bloated, somewhat like what you can hear on the outsides of a club. The mids do take a back seat and isn't as forward as it is in focus mode. Well, the highs do lose some clarity and may sound a little sharp when you listen it to near maximum volume. I know what my bass hits are thinking at this very moment. Is focus mode the ultimate bass boost cheat code to extract more bass out of the earbuds? I would say yes to a certain extent. Personally, I have tried using the closed ear adapters together with aware mode to get a sense of how bass heavy it can get. And I would say it's pretty fun to start with, but after a while, it gets tiring to listen to. For our hardcore techno lovers, I would say it's undeniable that having a wear mode with the equalizer set to pop and close ear adapters in gives you the best of both worlds, but indeed at the expense of the clean Sennheiser sound signature. On the other side of the spectrum, those looking to forego changing modes in the app by using open ear adapters with the mode set to focus, I find that it's not impossible since both modes and ear adapters do not communicate. You can expect a balanced yet energetic sound that is somewhat low in volume, but retains all the great aspects that the open ear adapters feature, making it seem like the sound engineers have over-designed the earbuds to be more complex than it needs to. Well, not to disregard innovation, but personally, having tried many sports-focused earbuds, Sennheiser deserves to be applauded for standing apart from the crowd. But this time, I felt that the entire experience could have just been simplified to having the CX Plus SE with ANC, transparency hearing, ear wings, and better water resistance or even reducing the earbud size for a more secure fit. Very much referencing the Jabra Elite lineup, which has premium sports options of the Elite 7 Active and a cheaper alternative of the Elite 4 Active. Similar builds and specifications with different set of features for a universal use of sports and commuting purposes. Now, if you're not so much of EDM and hip-hop fan, I'm glad to report that the Sports True Wireless works perfectly with all other genres ranging from pop to jazz after you fiddle with the customizable sound settings in the Smart Control app, available for download on the app and Play Store. In the app, you'll first see the My Devices page where you can select which compatible Sennheiser device to delve into. 
Thereafter, you'll be greeted with the selected devices settings where the battery life status is shown as well as the option to manage the earbuds connection to your devices. As mentioned above, there are two types of ear adapters. The option to change to the adjustable acoustics is shown here, with the need for you to switch the modes on your own using the app itself. There ain't no fancy ear adapter detection that you can do so without the app. On one hand, it saves the engineering and R&D cost that may potentially increase the price of the earbuds. But on another, it handicaps the earbuds to being app controlled. So you are literally stuck on whatever mode you have set previously if you happen to pair it with a smartwatch for music playback. If you're wondering if the smart control app on your Apple Watch is the way to change modes, I unfortunately didn't get it to work independently. So indeed, I felt that it was a big missed opportunity here. Below, you will find the equalizer settings which you can choose to customize your very own or choose from presets. There are presets like pop, rock, dance, hip hop, classical, and movie. Different presets do work with different music genres and I personally prefer the dance preset. You may also select any preset available and further tune it and rename it to become your custom setting. Additionally, there is a podcast mode where the equalizer will be disabled fully and set to Sennheiser's pre-made setting for enhanced speech clarity. Should you happen to mess up doing the custom presets, a simple tap on Restore All Sennheiser Presets will revert all changes made. Now you can further take this experience deeper using the sound check feature, where you can play your favorite songs in the background while you choose your three options of low, mid, and high frequencies. The app will boost to compensate for your hearing needs. Personally, I find that among the three options, I could hardly tell a difference. But you definitely hear a slight difference in sound if you pay attention and listen closely. At the end of it, I couldn't hear a large difference before and after I used the sound check feature. Well, some additional tuning is definitely better than nothing, I guess. Unfortunately, with the inclusion of adaptable acoustics, the transparent hearing option is dropped. There is also no active noise cancelling on the earbuds, only passive noise isolation that can be achieved with focus modes and closed ear adapters. You may enable, disable, or customize the touch controls and switch side tone from off, minimum, or maximum. Side tone is basically how loud you would like to hear yourself in the earbuds when you talk to another party over the call. Onto the Discover tab, you can read and catch up on the latest Sennheiser press release and news where they will share their latest product offerings and possibly entice you to buy them. Well, in all cases, it's possibly the least important and useful feature in the app. In the settings, there is a lack of smart pause for you to pause your music when you move one earbud from your ear. But you may set the duration of auto power off, ranging from 15 minutes to an hour. And choose to use either both tones and voice prompts, use tones only, or just turn off completely. At the bottom, a factory reset of the app settings is possible, together with the ability to show or hide individual tiles to show on the home page. You can easily check your current codec's use and the model name too. In terms of core quality, the Sport True Wireless use two beam forming microphone arrays or four mics to capture your voice. And in my opinion, the quality is usable, though it's easily affected by wind or traffic noise, and my voice does sound a little robotic and muffled. However, all things considered, the mic pickup quality was indeed on par with competitors of the same price point, just like the Jabra Elite 4 Active or the Nothing You Want. Testing 1, 2, 3. This is a microphone quality test of the Sennheiser Sports True Wireless. Hey you, new to our channel, remember to hit the like button if you find this video helpful and share with someone who may need it. Do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new video reviews. Thank you for your support, now back to our review. In terms of connectivity, the earbuds support the latest and greatest AppTex, AAC and SBC codecs together with Bluetooth version 5.2. The earbuds will automate power on and off when docked and taken out of the case. The battery life peaks at a strong 9 hours per use and up to a maximum of 27 hours with the case. The package will come with a short USB-A to USB-C cable for charging. And if you ever wish for wireless charging, the Sport True Wireless unfortunately does not support it. If you wish to only use one earbud at any one time, either earbud allows for one-sided listening. The earbud's connectivity to the app is perfect as it's able to detect my earbuds when it's already connected via Bluetooth all the time. If you try to watch videos or movies with this, they do not have any latency in the audio transmission. In all, the Sport True Wireless is a commentable and innovative earbud from Sennheiser's lineup. Though most of its features seem a little over-engineered, I could see a niche group of athletes and sports enthusiasts potentially enjoying the unique acoustics feature. Meanwhile, for the rest of us, I recommend the CX Plus SE being the better buy. Still, if you happen to be that targeted demographic of sportsmen and women, the great customizable sound settings, 
familiar app interface and intuitive user experience are some compelling features for you to consider giving the Sport True Wireless a try to see if it gets your money worth. The earbuds does however only come in one colour option of black. Thank you for watching and please check out our written review over at Derezer.com slash Sennheiser Sport True Wireless. Also, like and subscribe to YouTube channel for the latest updates and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more.